Hi there, welcome to Grain TV. It's Tuesday, January 10th, two days before the January crop report, and the markets were mixed. Let's take a look at Grain Edge's trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn closing down two and a half cents, wheat off a penny and a quarter, and beans managed, managing to come back from an overnight loss, closing seven and three quarters higher above 1013 on the day. News today, let's start first with the good news which was USDA's flash export sales. They announced two deals for corn. The, uh, the first one was 130,000 metric tons to Taiwan. Another deal to unknown destinations, 241,000 metric tons. Most of that going into 2017-18 crop year. Uh, only 90,000 in the front month old crop delivery. So that was certainly the good news, but overall corn really didn't trade much. Uh, on that news, continuing to wait for January's crop report for any sort of guidance on direction. Other news out today, we had news that China's uh, crush margins are really starting to erode. Stockpiles of meal and oil are really starting to build ahead of the Lunar New Year that's at the end of this month. People are calling for uh, a likely slowdown in Chinese buying heading into the new year, the Lunar New Year at the end of this month, and will likely start to turn more to South America once they get past that into February. Uh, overall, that was certainly negative on the market, as was news from Conab about their Brazilian soybean crop estimate. Looking at what USDA is likely to show in the coming crop report for Brazil, uh, analysts look for a 102.4 million metric ton crop uh, for Brazilian beans. That is up from 102, but this morning Conab came out with a much higher number of 103.8. On the other hand, corn uh, expected to grow to 87.2 by analysts in the U.S. versus 86.5 in December's USDA crop report. Uh, Conab coming in in line with those estimates. On the other hand, looking down to the southern part of South America in, in Argentina, Analysts are expecting to, the crop estimates to be shaved a little bit because of the really wet growing conditions and the uh, late uh, the inability in the late season to get some of the, the acres planted. So overall, uh, traders are looking for a slight reduction in corn at 36.3 versus 36.5 in December and 56 and a half for beans versus 57 in December. So keep those numbers in mind as we get into Thursday's crop report. We'll be watching those as well as the quarterly stocks report and the winter wheat planted seedings uh, report. We'll be talking about uh, those numbers tomorrow as well. Looking at the export situation, certainly corn has been having its fair share of good business here of late in the flash sales program. We're starting to see a little more strength uh, in our competitive situation. These numbers on this table show the relative prices of U.S. corn at uh, the Gulf versus other export destinations uh, that we compete against. If we look at Argentina, Brazil, and Europe, the U.S. has remained competitive, trading about $20 to, $20, uh, to $5 a metric ton below our competitor prices. That numbers, Those numbers have actually improved in the last in the last week as our, our uh, prices have remained fairly stable while our competitors have inched higher. So that's been good news in the corn. Conversely, in beans, we've started to erode. We're starting to see Brazil bean prices come down, Argentina prices come down relative to the U.S. And so that certainly sets the stage for uh, what might be a lackluster second half of the marketing year as we get into uh, Brazil and Argentina's harvest in the next few months. So overall, you know, certainly corn is remaining fairly firm uh, in terms of our export competitiveness while, while our bean net situation is starting to erode a little bit. Taking a look at November beans on the trading action today, you know, again, let's return back to this one hour chart we looked at yesterday. We talked about 1016 as a potential point uh, to touch upon, and certainly we got close to that today, getting as high as 10.14 and a half in the mid-morning session before backing off a little bit, but making a late-stage rally into that 10.13 close. So overall, right now we're sort of range-bound between that 10.16 and 9.93 mark. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, you know, to see us break out of that come Thursday. Certainly, you know, traders will be on the edge watching for that crop report. As we talked about yesterday, if you're a producer out there, there is really cheap protection in the form of puts and calls 
uh, with expirations for Janu uh, January 27th, giving you about two weeks after this crop report for about a nickel for corn and a dime for beans. So it's a really good uh, you know, short-term protection against this crop report for any sort of major market move that can be picked up uh, in the next few days. That's all we've got for today on Grain TV. As always, if you'd like to learn more about how we can help you in your own grain marketing situation, visit us online at grainedge.com. Take a demo of our platform and get our morning commentary and technical alerts every morning in your email inbox. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.